so maybe just to wrap up i will uh, i will try to release everyone because it's been a long day and uh, it's pretty late especially for the folks that are here in the in the uae so what i would like to do now is just to before i wrap up the uh, two-day seminar that uh, that we had uh, i would like to just give a brief overview about tii and the different uh, research topics that we are pursuing in the crypto center so let me share my my slides so as you all know by now, we are based in the United Arab Emirates, which is a rising center for innovation. The UAE is number one in innovation and digital competitiveness in the Arab world. Uh, the country has scored globally as number 12 on the digital competitiveness index. It's between the top 20 countries when it comes to foreign direct investment, and then it's rising in ranks in global innovation, reaching now uh, uh, number 34 amongst the top 35 countries worldwide. The TII, or the Technology Innovation Institute, uh, is, uh, is basically almost a year and a few months old uh, research institute that is uh, based in Abu Dhabi. And we are aiming to be a leading global research center dedicated to basically doing research both on the fundamental and the applied levels in leading edge technology. We have internal teams of scientists, researchers, mathematicians, and engineers, and we pride ourselves to be open and to be working in an open, flexible, and agile environment. Uh, the purpose that we have basically is to focus on emerging scientific problems across multiple domains and create advanced disruptive technology in innovations. Our main objectives that we had over the past year and also that we carry forward with us is one, we are trying to attract brightest scientific minds. We uh, want to help society overcome biggest hurdles when it comes to multiple technological problems, and at the same time to be a thought leader and become a world leading research and development institute. Uh, the Crypto Center, which we are running the seminar of um, today, is one of the seven centers that uh, TII has started with. We have multiple centers. You have already met Professor Jose Ignacio and the Quantum Research Center that's focusing on computations, computing, sensing, comms, algorithms, and middleware. And you heard uh, uh, you heard from him on some of the research that we are conducting at the intersection of the quantum and the crypto center. We have an autonomous robotics research center, the crypto center, which I will detail a little bit more the areas that we are working on. We have an advanced material research center, digital security research center, directed energy research center, and the secure systems research center. Um, and obviously, as you can imagine, we have machine learning, which is a horizontal, uh, horizontal topic that is intersecting with each, with each of our centers, and we have a transversal team that's fo focusing on machine learning. So in terms of the TII Crypto Center, currently we grew to be 43 uh, employees, 27% um, female, which I'm very happy about, and 73% uh, male, uh, our, our team is very diverse. So we have cryptographers, researchers, engineers that are coming from uh, multiple countries uh, that speak 16 languages. As I mentioned before, we have our internal team. So these 43 uh, researchers are internal researchers to the center. And at the same time, we are very happy to be collaborating with leading universities in the field of um, cryptography and we extend our knowledge with theirs and we have very close um, scientific collaborations. Today we have eight ongoing collaborations over multiple year projects and then we're looking forward to have more collaborations with more universities as well. In terms of focus of, of the center, just very quickly, um, the, the, the first area that we work with and we heard a lot over yesterday and today from Johanna, Arthur, uh, uh, Jose Ignacio and others about short algorithm, about Grover, about the polynomial time algorithms addressing uh, integer factorization and the discrete log problem, which basically are, are putting the security level of the, of, uh, of the um, public key crypto algorithms, both based on RSA and ECC to zero. So the team is focusing on research uh, for on post quantum research or what I call here the cryptography for the era of quantum computers. We have a pretty uh, large 
um, research stream focusing on post-quantum crypto. We're following the NIST efforts and we are also working on the development of our internal primitives. We have so far focused on lattices, on code-based and hash-based signatures. We have defined um, our roadmap for this year where we will be focusing on multivariates as well in the early uh, part of the year. And then we will be looking at isogenies in the second half um, of the year. The other, the other areas that we work with when it comes to um, post-quantum crypto and quantum technologies is, as you, as you heard from Jose Ignacio earlier, we have close collaborations with the quantum team. Uh, you, uh, you, um, you heard some of the problems that we are addressing uh, together. And at the same time, we're also working on post-quantum crypto integration within uh, QKD systems on the classical channels, uh, on the classical channel of UKD systems, as well as um, working on uh, the quantum algorithms for crypto and other topics. We heard from, um, so this is uh, regarding the post-quantum crypto. The second topic that we're working on is what I call here cryptography for the IoT and CPS or lightweight cryptography. We had a very good talk by uh, Professor Jha earlier about IoT systems and the constraints that they have in terms of energy constraints, limited computations possible, the low memory footprint, um, and at the same time security is becoming paramount for, for those systems. At the same time as well, we still don't have uh, standard uh, crypto algorithms nor protocols. So we have uh, an internal team, an internal research team that's also focusing on uh, lightweight crypto primitives and lightweight crypto uh, crypto protocols. We're following the efforts that are happening at NIST as well in the lightweight NIST competition. And we are working on the development of internal primitives and protocols, both for the software, uh, both for software and for hardware. At the same time, we have an implementation or an integration team that's looking at the integration of such lightweight uh, libraries for the primitives and the protocols and real platforms and combining eventually the problems with approaches such as inference that uh, we heard Professor Jha speak about before. The third area that uh, we have actually a substantially large team working uh, with, with, um, uh, with us on it is script analysis. A major project or a major effort that we are undertaking now is um, working on the automation of several, several cryptanalysis theoretical techniques, both for symmetric and public key or asymmetric libraries that includes classical and post-quantum uh, schemes. Um, I guess on the other side, we are one of the few teams that have started exploring machine learning when it comes to um, to theoretical cryptanalysis and looking at automating search algorithms with constraint optimizations and other techniques. The, the fourth area that we are working on is crypto engineering um, or hardware-based crypto. We have a team that's working on the design and implementation of uh, IP cores, uh, crypto cores, hardware accelerators, and on, the, uh, on hardware software design for different cryptographic libraries. We work on, uh, we basically use FPGAs, ASICs, and reconfigurable processors. The same team is working on side channel analysis, countermeasures implementations, and uh, testing. At the same time, the same way that we're doing this for theoretical cryptanalysis, we are also uh, exploring the usage of supervised learning, in particular deep neural networks and CNNs in side channel analysis for classification, clustering, feature engineering, pre-processing, testing, and secret recovery. Um, the, the fifth area that, that you see mentioned here is a cryptography for the cloud, or what I like to call confidential computing. Uh, a topic that we heard a lot of our speakers like Michali and Avital address um, uh, during yesterday's uh, seminar. We, in particular, we're working on privacy preserving schemes, uh, multi-party computations, distributed key protocols, and fully homomorphic encryption. Um, we also have the team that is looking into the aggregation of those, con of those concepts in the larger context of feder federated learning and exploring how both MPC and FHE can be used to augment security of systems and models involved in federated learning cases and protecting those against attacks where data stays encrypted at all times. 
Finally, we have a team focusing on cryptographic protocols, uh, design implementation, as well as security proofing such uh, protocols. Uh, today, we have two streams, two parallel streams running. Uh, we have uh, protocols with classical schemes and, post and the other one is uh, looking into post-quantum uh, crypto uh, uh, protocols with post-quantum crypto uh, primitives. And at the same time, we're focusing on bridging the transition or actually we're doing efforts to have this transition uh, start in the, especially here, of transitioning from classical uh, primitives to protocols with PQC primitives by adopting hybrid protocols, combining both PQC and traditional RSA or SCC as a practical solution for uh, a fast uh, transition. So as you can see, we have quite a unique team that's uh, work working on both fundamental uh, uh, fundamental crypto research problems. At the same time, we have teams that are working on more applied problems and uh, engineering focused uh, crypto implementations. We have a very rich research roadmap. We have different profiles of people. Um, and uh, we have also a board of advisors, which we use as a sounding board. And uh, we use their advice quite a bit as we progress with our research and um, uh, our output. So the team has grown a lot over the past year. However, we're still hiring. And this is where anyone who's attending today or anyone who thinks his students or her students uh, would be interested. We have quite a bit of vacancies. We have vacancies for the post-quantum team. So we need researchers in the post-quantum crypto field. We need cryptanalysts, hardware security researchers, lightweight crypto researchers, researchers for uh, cloud uh, for um, cloud encryption schemes, especially on FHE and cryptography engineers. We also have many more positions that you can see on the career website of, um, of TII. Uh, for, for, for more information about our research, uh, our research, about the output, about our publications, you can visit our website, which is on cryptography.tii.ae. Uh, if you go to the publication page, you can see more of the list of publications that we have. You can also learn more about the team, about the individual's profiles that are in the team, also under About Us at the Cryptography website. And if you have any questions or if you have any queries about what we do or you have any questions about the talks that you saw over the past uh, two days, don't hesitate to either email me. My email is here or to email Mark. I also put his email on, on the slides. And with this, I would like to thank you all. This was a very productive uh, seminar. I would like to thank our, um, our speakers um, with, with all the insights and the learning that they provided us with over the past two days. I would like to thank the audience and hopefully we see you during the crypto seminar for 2022. Thank you very much.